The last step in creating your account with the Workforce Registry and CECO online is to open up your email validation request. So whatever email you used to sign up on the Workforce Registry, they will have sent you an email um, and it should come right away. When you click on that, you'll see there's a <clears throat> link and this validates your email address. When you click on that link, it will take you right to the uh, Workforce Registry where you will be able to find your Workforce Registry number. So you'll go to View, Update Your prof Profile, and your registry number, of course, they call it a participant ID. So you'll take this number here, you'll copy it, and then you'll go back to your CECO online registration, which unfortunately I closed out of. But when you go to the new user and you complete all of the information again, you will go to the workforce registry number. Uh, this time they will want you to select a county of employment. So you'll select Riverside and then put in your workforce registry. I can't show you that because it's gone right back to the login screen. Um, if you have any issues, email your instructor um, or even better, go ahead and call or email CECO and they will also walk you through the registration. Remember, they're probably not available after five o'clock or on the weekends. So if you have modules that are due, you want to start them early um, in the week and that will give you time to work out any bugs. You can also come in and see any of the full-time faculty members during office hours and we will walk you through it. Um, and typically, if you see us before or after class, we can help you with that also. Um, sometimes there are tutors in the Learning Center that can help you if you take all of your assignment information in and they may be able to walk you through it too. Anyway, let me know um, if you have any questions if you're in my classes. Um, otherwise, um, go ahead and I hope you enjoy these modules.